Welcome to Education by Spencer. Today we will be tackling one of my favorite uh, lessons of the whole unit, which is marketing, um, marketing mix, the, the four Ps. And today we will be doing, man, I love this exercise, the elevator pitch. And it is about understanding the marketing strategies of business. We'll be dealing with proposals and presentations. Next slide, please. Okay, today I'm going to put you in a role play. You are in the hallway with a potential decision maker, Ms. Hurd, or Ms. Neely. You only have two minutes to present your proposal to the administration who is known for being attracted to student fundraisers that are interactive, inexpensive, and profitable. Okay, let's go to the next slide. Okay. The product. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you do a little bit of the talking. I'm gonna ask you some questions. The questions that I have are in red, so that you don't get confused. And let's go. Explain to me your product. Um, my budget is 800. Um, the fundraiser is Sandy Hawkins. The dance. Um, the dance cotton candy. Now hold on. You kind of lost me on it. The fundraiser is Sadie Hawkins, but the cotton candy is your actual product, right? Yes. Okay. And you have, what is your cost? The, I know I asked you to answer this question in two ways. One is your total cost, and the other is your cost per unit. So what is your cost per unit? My cost per, um, per unit is um, 25 cents. So it only costs you 25 cents to make up one of these bags or, or cones of cotton candy. Yes. Okay, so how much is it going to cost you to get all of the products? $736. Um, Dollars and... $736.50. Okay, now what is the maximum amount of cotton candy that you can sell with this amount of money? 2,946. Okay, were you over budget or under budget? Under. And what was the amount that you was under budget? 63, uh, $63.50. Next slide, please. Okay, now we're dealing with what? Um, carbon. At the very top. Carbon At the very top. The placement. The placement is four P's. We just tackled product, now we're at placement. And our placement will be at Carver Learning, which is basically the sixth grade the sixth grade learning center in Lancaster. Okay. What location of the school would you sell your cotton candy? The front center. The front what? Entrance. The front entrance. And why would you sell it in the front entrance? The high bar. Um, the high volume of traffic. And what time would you sell your cotton candy? After school. And why would you do that? Um, student accessibility. Accessibility? Okay. So what do you mean by student accessibility? You're in the front of the school at the end of the day. What happens most of the time at the front of the school at the end of the day? The kids are trying to get out. So and where are they going? To the cars to go home. Or where else might they be going? To get food. Yes, to get food as well. And, and they also might be catching the bus or they also might be a car rider. And all of those still have time to come by and get cotton candy. And get cotton candy. Let's go to the next slide. Okay. The prom promo. Promo. Which is short for the promotion. And this is, this is um, basically dealing with your target market. Who will you sell your cotton candy to? The student. And how will you advertise? Uh, flyers, social media, school, social media, text message, announcement, word of mouth, and display. And how much will it cost you to do this type of advertising? Free. <laughs> okay. Next one. The price. 
pricing is need your pricing needs to be reasonable meaning that you cannot sell your your product for an outrageous outrageous price all right what is your price five dollars okay and how much do you need to sell to break even one for one hundred and forty eight 148 148 will give you around $740 you need $736.50 to break even that is correct how much would you make if you sold all of your your tickets 10,311 and 11 okay that's a nice profit for for a $700 investment on okay let's go to the next one Okay, now we're done with that. Let's deal with how was it working in a group and how, it, how did everything go working with your team? Our company is going to be successful because we, we were making a beneficial profit. Yes, you are. Okay, what makes your company or your product different from the others? Our company profit is different from the others because it is cheaper and better. Okay, tell me about the people in your company. The people in our company are hardworking and strive to succeed. We are very determined. Okay, and what are the strengths of your, um, what are your, what are their strengths? Their strengths are good teamwork and Let me see if I can help you out. Good teamwork and partnership. partnership. Let's go to the next slide. Tell me the story behind your product design. Cotton candy is going to be pink and blue on a cone. And how will you keep production costs low? Cut down on your waste and weight out our... Um, our cotton candy. So you're going to put your cotton candy on a scale and weigh it out to make sure that you're giving each customer the right amount and that will cut down on your waste. Yes. Very efficient. And how will you market your product to customers? Advertisement. Okay, let's go to the next slide. Okay, let's go to the next slide. Oh, that was the last slide. Let's do uh, the checklist. What is the checklist? Um, the no, not the math one. Did you um, did you find out what type of problem you had to deal with? Yes. Did you solve using various diagrams? Yes. Did you plan to solve? Yes. And did you solve the problem? Yes. Okay. It's going to get a little bit harder from here on out, but I'd like to thank you for your uh, your help. Uh, once again, everybody thank Brianna for volunteering today. Yay. And uh, y'all, good luck, and I'll see you next time.